going on, Huntington Beach? And welcome to The Wreck Report. I'm your host, Scott Gitman. And I'm Molly Umura. It's good to have you back, Molly. Thanks, Scott. It's good to be back. We missed you last month. Today, we're going to be introducing you to the newest program in Huntington Beach, a brand new youth sports program that we're really excited about. That's right. But first, we're going to talk about this beautiful building behind us, which, if you're a resident of Huntington Beach, you probably know what we're talking about. We hope that you continue to tune in every month to see how parks make life better in Huntington Beach. Today we're here at the corner of Golden West and Talbert, which is the site of one of the most exciting building openings of 2016. Right behind us here is the brand new Senior Center in Central Park, which, believe it or not, is scheduled to be open in only a few short months. We're so excited about this new building. It's 38,000 square feet and boasts a brand new fitness center, dance hall, exercise room, and grand hall, which is the perfect place for any of your special occasions starting this fall. Be on the lookout for a special edition Sands brochure. This brochure, which is scheduled to be mailed out to all Huntington Beach residents the week of May 17th, will feature a lot more information about the grand opening events, the classes, and programs that are happening at this brand new senior center. The residents of Huntington Beach have been waiting for this building a long time, so July just can't come soon enough. And you know what? Shout out to the staff over at the Senior Center. They're working really hard to get this thing happening. So. Thanks a lot, everyone. Before we completely switch gears and talk about our brand new youth sports program, Molly and I want to take this opportunity to explain some of the exciting naming opportunities that are going to come along with this brand new Senior Center. The naming opportunities were announced several months ago, and several local businesses have generously stepped up to the plate. We'd like to thank Hogue Hospital for their donation of $2 million for brick and mortar and an additional $1.77 million for ongoing financial support. In addition, Orange Coast Memorial Care Medical Group, the Edinger Medical Group, and the Huntington Meets Council on Aging also generously donated, so thank you. Thank you. If you're interested in donating, there are still some naming opportunities available at the new Senior Center for rooms such as the Great Hall, the Transportation Center, the Game Room, and the Home Delivered Meals Room. If you're interested or would like more info, please contact Randy, the Senior Supervisor at Community Services, at this number right here. <laughs> we here at the Community Services Department are always looking for innovative businesses and contracting instructors to add to our spectrum of classes and programs. Our reporter Bree is at the City Gym and Pool with former NBA star Maurice Acher to talk about his new program, The Hoop School. Take it away, Bree. Oh God. All right, thank you, Molly and Scott. Basketball is going to be the topic for today. I'm here with two-time All-American basketball player, former NBA first draft pick, and former Dallas Maverick shooting guard, Mo Ager. We're here at Huntington Beach's one and only city gym and pool to teach the fundamentals of basketball to our local community kids. How are you doing today, Mo? I'm good. How are you? Good. Doing really well. So in the spring, you'll be offering Mo Ager's Hoop School at the City Gym and Pool. Can you tell us more about the program? Yes, it's an um, unbelievable basketball program we created. It's a basketball enrichment program, actually. Um, Mo Ager Hoop School, me and my guy Greg Smith started um, two years ago. And um, yes, we're looking forward to bringing the program to, here to the Huntington Beach to work with the little kids. And it's, um, it's going to be fun. It's really geared towards you know helping the kids to learn not only basketball fundamental skills, but also life skills as well. You know, we just work hard to keep their, their confidence up. You know, we really want to, um, you know, promote, you know, what it takes to have the discipline to make it to the next level, you know, and uh, hopefully we can continue to, to grow out here and um, make this thing really big. What's the age level and skill level that you guys are focusing on? Yeah, um, anywhere from between 3 to 18, 19. Um, we're really focusing on the fundamentals for the, for the, for the little kids. You know, we really want to just hone in on just the fundamentals. Uh, we don't want to overwhelm them too much, but um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's very important that we teach them the fundamentals and what it takes to be disciplined, to not only play basketball, just to be able to live life in general. So we, we teach a lot of life skills as well. Word on the street is you're starting a Mo Ager travel ball team. Can you tell us more about that? Yes, um, we're really excited about it. Um, we're looking to do a travel league, you know, so we're recruiting kids as we speak. So uh, I think this is a good springboard for us to actually start recruiting kids and, and bringing them into the, our, um, our, tra our travel league. I think it's going to be a good opportunity for them to actually get exposure on a national level as well. So it, it should be fun. Oh, all right. What do you do now after the NBA? Um, right now, you know, just creating music. I'm a musician as well, um, producer. Uh, I perform music. Uh, I speak all over the world. I do inspirational talks. And, you know, of course, we've got the Moeco Hoop School right now. <laughs> and um, we're going to continue to develop this program and make it the best as we possibly can, and uh, it's going really well. We're, we're actually really excited about it. All right, thanks, Mo. All right, Absolutely. you guys heard it here first. 
This is a great opportunity for our community to be involved with the Basketball Star. For more information, you can call City Gym and Pool at 714-960-8884 for more information, or register at hbsands.org. Back to you, Molly and Scott. He wants to pull the trigger again and hits a three-pointer. What's that? Thanks, Bree. You know, I sat down with Maurice when mm -hmm. he first brought this to us, and not only is he really tall, but he's very passionate about working with kids, and I just think this program is going to be a success, and I think it's going to be a positive program for our community. We're really excited about this new program, so if you're interested in finding more information, pick up your local SANS or visit hbsands.org. Well, Surf City, that's all we have for you for the month of April. However, before we leave, we wanted to share with you an exciting honor that we received last month. Last month, the California Parks and Recreation Society gave our very own rec report the Award of Excellence in Digital Marketing. And you know what, Surf City? We want to thank you for tuning in every month, but also our production team, Chris Lama and Aaron Burke, and especially our producer, Matt Liffring. We couldn't do it without you. Thanks again so much to our team, and thanks to our viewers for continuing to watch us every month. We hope to see you back here in May, and until then, remember, Parks, parks make, make life better. better.